Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my Season 3 new map analysis video. So, going to be checking out the third map. It is going to be called Catalina. Catalina? L-E. And I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but it does have a huge ass octopus. Although it's not technically an octopus because it's only got seven legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Unless this is like a double leg or something like that, I don't know, but it does seem to be a seven-legged octopus, and it does seem to be a three-person map, so yeah, it's going to be pretty interesting. Yeah, we've got the zoom out. So yeah, let's get stuck into it, and this map, once again, has a very interesting choice as to, uh, as to base where you build, but let's check it out first. The main area is pretty damn big. It's got this nice sort of section off to the left, which is going to be an ideal drop location right here. Um, I will say, all of these maps are pretty... Well, it's it's all identical. So the three bases, pretty much identical. There might be some, um, yeah, little bits that are a little bit different, like this it seems to be a little bit more spikier, but it's pretty much the same. And uh, yeah, so you've got this big map, and yeah, that's uh, going to be a little bit hard to hold. Another little, little drop location over here. And yeah, you've got this ramp coming down. We do also have a nice Reaper jump position right here, a nice Stalker jump position over there. It's quite far away from the main area where you will be getting your main expansion. So that's something you've got to be aware of. It's just all the way over to the left here. Reapers, Stalkers, getting up there, doing all sorts of craziness. So yeah, that's definitely something interesting. Usually, the sections where the stalkers jump up are a little bit closer to the main entrance, but not so here. It's all the way over there. So then you've got your main expansion. Main expansion is pretty snug. It's uh, not really much area for drops here, just uh, standard sort of stuff, standard expansion. Very, very nicely protected over here. You'd, there is, of course, could be, uh, I don't know, banshees or something hiding over here, which is going to make it hard to see. But, yeah, because when they're on the high ground, you can't see them. So, it's a little bit different to a cliff. But, yeah. It's it's still alright. You're not going to get... Uh, it's going to be hard to do drops over the here. And so, well, not hard, but... Actually, it could be easy to do drops, because they could hide on the high ground. But, yeah. It's, it's going to be an interesting mechanic, actually. Dropping from the uh, from a high ground trees area. But regardless, there is a quite a small ramp here, so getting a fast expansion early game, and assuming your opponent doesn't get Banshees, then you should be able to hold this ramp very, very easily. Now we get down to the bottom area, and this is, of course, going to be the dead zone. So we had one in the previous game, we got another one here. So you move in here, the dead zone goes all the way into the middle, and then spreads out again to basically the same area for all three bases. So you've got this nice, and this is basically where you go when you want to lose all your units because there's so much high ground all over the place, the high ground actually spreads right in, close to the center. So moving through the low ground area is gonna be a very dangerous proposition. But then again, to get from one side of the map, you do have to go through the low ground at some point. So it's pretty much gonna be a case of get down to the low ground, get to the high ground section you want to get to, and then get back up again. Now let's start talking about third bases, and also the high ground, which sort of mix in. So you've got your main, you've got your expansion. Now there are three different high ground sections. You've got this one, which moves all the way up here. It's sort of a nice sort of section going all the way over to this base over here. And also, You've got, on the other side of the expansion, you've got this section, which moves all the way down, and to this base over here. So you can see, as this player, you've got your expansion, you've got two choices for third bases. You've got this one, which is closer to the main base, and you've got this one, which is sort of off to the side. So one base basically has a main highway down to this person, and the other base has a main highway down to this person almost. So it really does depend on where your opponent spawns is where you want to get a base. So if your opponent spawns all the way over there, get your third base over there. If your opponent spawns all the way over there, you get your third base over there. And it's still relatively easy to defend from the south side. You've got this, these rocks and your main army will just sort of be filtering all over there. 
If your opponent is down there, to attack this base sneakily, they'd have to go all the way around. Which does mean that they have to go on the low ground through the octopus, around to this ramp, and that means you can own them with this high ground. So definitely, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting. And yeah, then... Um, but of course, if your opponent is down here and you take this base, then they've got a highway all the way in there. And there's no easy way to stop them. I mean, trying to wall off this off a third base, yeah, maybe. But it's not going to be as strong, and you're going to need to move your forces out anyway. And that you don't want to be what you'd have to watch this section and this section. I mean, you want the high ground advantage. High ground advantage is going to be king in this game. So yeah, taking this as your third base, you've got um, you can just own these forces if they come up the ramp, they get owned. If they come up the ramp, they get owned. If they try and get around, they get owned. So that's your main four bases right there. And this would be a good fourth base because you get that up and then you start moving down this highway towards taking out this base. Now let's talk about the other base. So there's three other bases here that aren't covered by the main four. There's this one, which is sort of the halfway point down this highway. It's got two nice big ramps leading into it. And yeah, it's just out by itself. So this is a haven for dropships. This is a haven for attacks. This is going to be very, very hard to hold for any player. And yeah, you basically you set up. Somebody comes in the other ramp, owns you straight away. It's a very much an end game base when you've sort of tapped out the minerals for every other base. And there are three of them. Obviously, there's one over there, one over there, and another one over there. So yeah, that's uh, that's quite it. I mean. Really, it's going to be down to uh, middle ground. Like, look at this. I'm basically, I don't think I can zoom out any further, but if I put the mouse in the right location, we can see all three of these high ground rock areas from the middle of the map. It is absolutely insane. This is why I'm saying going through the middle, if I put a siege tank here, I put a siege tank here, and I put a siege tank here, you can hit anything in the middle of the map. I think anything. Maybe if you're right in the center, you get missed, but... The high ground advantage is so good, and running through this low area is going to be so dangerous. It's basically a death zone, and you really want to be skirting the outside. You really want to be jumping from highway to highway. So you get so say you're starting off here, you want to be running up this highway as much as you can, launching attacks off these two ramps as much as you can, jumping over to hit the expansion. I mean, but here is where it gets difficult, because if you're on the left, you're owning this side, your opponent has this, 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 and this base. They expand out to this as their fourth base. What are you going to do? You can't run through the middle to get at them. That's suicide. So you'd have to go all the way around, up this highway, and then try and get in there. But meanwhile, your opponent's doing the same thing. And suddenly, it just turns into an, ah, it turns into an absolute nightmare. So yeah, these high grounds, man, it's just going to be two-pronged attacks all over the place. And anybody who goes in the middle is going to get killed. So yeah, great job there. Uh, I haven't actually done much, but yeah, it's a great map. And by God, just avoid the middle as much as you can, because this octopus does mean death for anybody. Maybe this is like the eighth tentacle. Maybe it's got like giganticism in its eighth tentacle or something like that, and the head is actually here. I don't know. Maybe there really is a seven tentacled octopus. Whatever. So, this map is going to be awesome, and yeah, we will be checking out one more map, I think it's called Nimbus LE, so we'll check that out in just a sec, and I'll catch you guys then, it's been, been Harry Muppet.